Tallahassee, Florida with Rogue Nation. That's a camera. Camera? It's film. So you're filming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a battery. How long be nice? So I can film all day. What do you do that for? Just for records? Yeah, or? recreational. Yeah. Public buildings, taxpayers like to see, you know, where our dollars go to. So we put it online and other citizens can see. That's interesting. Take in the ladies' room while you're here. No, we're not allowed to do <laughs> that. We're not allowed to do that. That's, that's what the police do. We don't do that. <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry, I was thinking about something. Recording? Just whatever I could see. Um, you can't do that in here, sir. I can't? No, sir. Oh, this isn't a public building? It is, sir, but you have other people's privacy that you're invading, sir, and they don't want to be recorded either. How you know that? You asked them because all? Because they've complained about it, yes, sir. How'd they complain? I just walked in the door. And they saw you with the recorder, and they want to know why you're in here recording them. Well, tell them it's called freedom. But why are you in here recording? Is there any particular reason? Well, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do as far as uh, staying warm for a minute. So I came in here. It was cold outside. And I said, well, I've never been in here before. Mm -hmm. And this is a public building paid for by the taxpayers. I, I understand that. So I figured I'd just come in here and walk around okay. and warm up and see what you do and what it looks like. So maybe I can uh, put it on a page for, you know, journalistic reasons. You know, okay. Just practicing freedom, walking around, filming our government. You know, there's no law against it, is there? Not that I'm aware of, but I'll double check on that. Oh, because you said I, I wasn't allowed to do it. I thought, well, maybe there's a law. There's other people around me that don't want you filming them, so, so that is an invasion of other people's privacy. That is. So there's a law. You can't invasion of privacy without letting them know and without their permission. That is correct. Now, where'd you learn this? What do you mean? I don't have to tell you where I learned it, but I'm telling you that it is. You can't well, just report someone and not make them aware of that. But I've learned something different about the law that says okay, well, the exact I'll opposite. Call and see if you can be in this office and recording while you're not letting everyone know. Well, okay, as sir. long as this is a public lobby, no, fine, right? No, okay. Great. Well. She's going to call upstairs and see if I can uh, record. I mean, you got two cameras there, two cameras there, two cameras there, two cameras there, two cameras there another camera there, but they don't want me to have my camera. They don't want me here for some reason. I don't know why. Nobody does. Everywhere I go, I get this treatment. It's always a different reason why they don't like me, so I don't know how to change. It ain't just one thing. It's everything about me. I guess it's freedom. Our 
goal is to make your experience in our office. We pledge. We pledge to service every customer with the highest levels of professionalism, sincerity, integrity, courtesy, and respect. Delivered with responsiveness, expertise, efficiency, and accuracy. Furthermore, we embrace teamwork to offer the finest personal service delivered to each customer and take pride in our dependability of each team member to help us meet our pledge. Hmm. Refrain from exhibiting any form of harassment or conduct considered offensive or discriminatory, discriminatory to others, including the use of profanity, slurs, profanity, and derogatory language or actions, whether based on race, color, religion, or sexual orientation. Please refrain from engaging in conversation on your mobile phone while transaction is being processed. And please treat every team member like you want to be treated. And they reserve the right to refuse service to any customer engaging in a disruptive behavior. And that comes from Doris Malloy. So, that's the way that works. People didn't like me up there. Go in here right around to the right. There's a lady who won't like you either. <laughs> Nobody likes me. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? Says gobble, gobble, gobble. They got the Halloween stuff up. Looks really neat. I like seeing the decorations. Got them a safe back there. You are too. Look at all them cameras you got up there. You, you, you don't even know if this is on. Real life. Battery blinking could be low. Yeah, you never know. Low battery. So why, why are you, why just are you making this? Oh, I just walked in here to look around. I was standing quiet. Excuse me, ma'am. Did you get a number? I don't need a number. Then, then what do you need security for? 
I need security because when people like you like block me in and do that kind of stuff, that's against the law. So I got to have an impartial witness. This is an impartial witness. Hello, you can go right through. I'm just being trying to be reasonable and say, okay, don't film until we get confirmation. That's all I'm saying. Well, I said, we have confirmation. I said, I'm not confirmation. I'm going. You guys have Pete. It only takes a minute to look around the office. How do we, how do we, how do we know who you are? How do we know you're not casing it to, to get, look at the exits? Well, how, how many times does that happen here? Zero? Uh, what happened? Somebody come in and case the door. I don't know. No, 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 no. no. Well, we didn't nobody's going to tell us we're casing the door. Well, right. But did anybody case the door and they robbed it? How many times have you been robbed here? How many times have we been robbed? Zero? <coughs> Okay, so even and, if they are, because we even, take safety even if they are in here, well, you would, listen, if somebody was in here surveilling the place, you know they got cameras fitting your glasses, your hats, your boat. Come on, man. Come A on. pen, yeah, pocket true. camera. Yeah, true, but, you know, but, but okay, I mean, you, you're, you're right. Me coming in like this, you, you come on, I, I'm surveilling. You're right. It'd be like a terrorist right. strapping a nuke to his backpack and walking in the courthouse through a metal detector. Come on, man. <laughs> You're exactly right. But you know, you can also alter, you know, what you're having. You can alter your, you can alter your image. But, but you know, but no, we're, we're not going to cause any disturbance. We just come in to check out the property, make sure it's in good working order. Citizens' rights aren't being violated. You know, that kind of thing. Celebrities feel uncomfortable when the paparazzi's got the camera in their face all the time. You know, fortunately, when we step outside of our private home, we have no expectation of privacy. You know what I mean? So, and we have to be able to watch our government work. Yeah, we, can, yeah, we, we have to be able to watch our government work. Yeah, because, you know, you see in the news, somebody getting convicted every day, fraud, corruption, you know, mm-hmm. beating people, all kinds of stuff. Hi, I'm Connie McCaskill. No. Hello. Yeah, I was tasked at this office. Yeah. Come in and call and say, um, I know if you want to record, record customs, you have to have their permission. Well, if, they're, if they're public, I don't need anybody's permission. Now, if they're doing a transaction in our office, they uh, I'm not getting transactions. I, I scan the room. I'm not, like, zooming in on anybody. And as long as, as I can't hear it, even without my camera, as long as you're keeping their personal information safe, then it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, well, I... Um, because if I can hear it, it's the same thing as if I can record it. Because I can, if this gentleman says his, his social security number is 311-78-5898, and I can hear it, I can remember smile. that number just as easily as this camera can. You see what I'm Smile. I want to be on your I was just going to say smile. Give me a pretty so smile, please. please. remove my face. <laughs> you're too pretty to remove yeah, your yeah, face. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that's just a courtesy. It's, it's one that, that, that I don't really extend because it's not legally required of me. So I, I don't extend that courtesy. But um, what I do is legal and lawful. I stay with the general public a lot ago. I don't go in restricted access areas. I don't gather personal information. If by some chance I do happen to catch it, I do erase it before I upload my video for the other citizens to disseminate. I've got 375 videos done all over the state of Florida, tax collectors, prisons, sheriff's office, every public building you can think of and imagine. Okay, and I ask the purpose of your recording today. My purpose of recording today is that I haven't been here recording before. Like I said, I have 375, uh, I have 375 videos of state buildings, and I will hit every building in the state of Florida that is publicly owned by the time I put my camera down for retirement. I understand. Okay, so today. Oh, yeah, yeah. We disseminate information on public interest matters to other citizens. So, protective right. So, 11th Circuit, Smithford City of Cumming. The public has a duty to record the public official during the course of their duties. So. But the public official, which is Miss Malloy, is not in there. No, you're, you're mistaking public officials. I know the public officials. Yes, right. The that, elected official is right. I know I the customer service rep, 
represent her. Right, but right. Anybody on the public dollar mm -hmm. is a public official and allowed to be recorded because they're conducting business on the public behalf mm -hmm. under public dollar and under the public name. So anybody conducting business, mm -hmm. we have the right to to video them and make sure that what they're doing is appropriate and within legal bounds. Okay. So just like the government watches over the citizens, I hear what you're the citizens have a right and a duty to watch over the government. I hear what you're saying. Okay, great. The policy here. The policy it's doesn't saying, trump the law. The policy here, mm -hmm. and what I will make sure I do is uh, confirm what thing we have, because what we do in this office we uh, ask anybody who wants to record to get the customer's permission to get it recorded. Sure, no, that's your policy, that's great. Here's my policy. See, you read it, now you owe me 50 bucks. That's my policy, you got 50 bucks. See, because policy is not law. No, and law, I, I, always, law always trumps policy. I understand. Okay, so, what I'm so well, well that's fine. We're actually done here at the building today. But uh, we will be back, I'm sure. Uh, whenever we get confronted, we come back to make sure that you guys realize then that the policy is not the law and we conform with what the law is because we're all a nation under law. So we all have to obey the law. Just because we work for the government doesn't mean we get a right to not obey the laws. So, so we, all, we all obey the laws and the law states that the citizens have a right to free press, and the citizens have a right to record their public officials while they're conducting business in our home. That's the law. So you can make any policy you want. You can say, you know, anybody with a camera and a hat can't come in the building, and it's, it's all that does is invite a lawsuit against you folks. You understand? Because you can't trample the citizens' rights or policies over the rights and the laws of the, of the country. So. I, right, and I, I hear what you say, and I think the okay. thing for me to do is to make sure that yeah, what we're doing, our policy falls within the law. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. So and I encourage you to take all the time and, and contact whoever you need to. Um, like I said, I've done this. Oh, oh, oh yeah, please no, no, go ahead. Please do. Um, and, and so you can you know, do all that as well as you wish. I, I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. I obey the law. That's why I'm confident in what I do and where I go. Right, you have every intent of obeying the law also. Of course, of course. I would hope so. I would hope so. So now that we've got that squared away, we're going to be getting out of here. But again, you know, we'll eventually return uh, to make sure that everything is in accordance. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Yeah. But you, you know, and I, and I, I don't want any my permission to be on anybody's stand. Okay. Well, unfortunately, you have to have a job in the private sector because the public sector, again, 11th Circuit Court, Smith versus City of Cumming, put that up. We have a right to record a public official who is, who is ever conducting business in the public capacity. We have a right to record them. Okay. And even if we did. Okay, when we step outside of our homes, we have no expectation of privacy. That's why people don't need your, your permission when you walk by at Disney and they're taking a picture of their kid and they snap you in the picture. Or when you're at the beach and the guy's videotaping his family and you and your family happen to get in this video, he don't have to come over and ask you permission. And that's how we go into Walmart and Walmart records us and they don't need our permission. Because once we step foot out of our house, Okay, and even inside of our house. If we're inside of our house, in our living room, and our blinds are open, and I'm standing on the sidewalk recording you and your husband and you're getting crazy, and you don't close them blinds, it's totally legal. Totally legal. I hear what you're saying. Okay. As well as expressing my objection to be oh, honest. Absolutely, and, 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 and I will file that with all the rest of the objections I've got. So. Unfortunately, like I said, private sector is, is the best place to work if you don't want people besides your bosses checking up on you. Because working for the public, the public is the boss. So the public can come in and check us and see what's going on. Uh, that way we can keep down our fraud. And really, it's in, it's, it's in everybody's best interest. I was just telling an uh, investigator for the state attorney earlier today, I said, <clears throat> what happens is, because you work for the state now, the city, the county, 
and everything's going good, it's fine. But then when you retire, okay, and because the city and the county has mismanaged their budget for 30 years, yes, sir. because they've mismanaged their budget for 30 years, you go to retire, and you're getting a pension. But guess what? The city and county need that money because they need a new building. Guess what's the first thing to go? Pensions. There was a story in Alabama of a fire chief who retired. Okay? He retired. The city had mismanaged their budget. That fire chief ended up freezing the guy because they cut off his pension and he couldn't afford heat in his home. Okay? A man who dedicated his life to helping citizens, okay, and the city screwed him. Okay? It didn't matter that he worked for the city for 30 years. That's not gonna matter once you have retirement. And all the buddies and connections and all that stuff, they're all going to change with the new wave of state employees that come in. They're not going to care that you don't get your pension because the city needs a new tax collector building. You know? Pensions will be the first thing to go. So state employees, when they see people checking up on government, we have to realize, even though I'm here right now, I might be at the state senate house tomorrow. Okay, I'm checking up on all government, and it's only going to do good for all of us when we bring government in. Right, I guess what I'm saying is, um, as long as what you're doing is legal. Oh, of course, I agree, 100%. If I knew something illegal, I want to get it right. You wouldn't have the issue with the office as long as what you're doing is legal. Right, absolutely. No, absolutely. Listen, I go to town sometimes, and I stay quiet, and they don't bother me. And I know these people, they're working hard. Some of the guys come out and shake my hand and say, listen, I've given my employees training on the First Amendment and, and how citizens are allowed to record and stuff like that. They're doing a good job. We need to be aware of the laws. We need to be aware of citizens' rights. And we need to make sure that we, we follow correctly everything we need to. You know, and that way it's better for everybody. You know? Because a lot of times if you read if you read on Google reviews, a lot of the government buildings, their services are the real low. One star to two star. <laughs> Because when people work in the public sector and your, your customers are forced to come to you because there's nowhere else to go, you're not going to get a driver's license from Arby's, right? Then the public servants tend to get an attitude and a, you know, a crappy attitude and you know, this and that and this and that. So we're going to try to get that as well. You know? When I go to a private business and I go to the counter, they got a smile on. They're ready to wait on me. You know what I mean? They're eager to do their job. When I go to a public service building, they treat me like crap, even though I'm the one paying their salary, you know what I mean? And it's their way or the highway. You have to do it this way, sir. You got to do this, sir. They talk to me like I'm a kid because they realize that I can't go anywhere else for that service. So I'm trapped. I'm trapped in their crappy customer service. You go right ahead. I'm trapped in their crappy customer service because they're the government and there is no competition. Okay? So we want, to, we want to bring awareness to this. We want, when we come in, we want pleasantries. Just like if I was working in a private, you know, going to a private building. You know? I hear what you say. I understand what you say. Okay. I have no issue with what you're doing. Or even what you're trying to do. As long as what you're doing is what you're Absolutely. Absolutely. And I agree 100%. I follow the law and I expect everybody else to follow the law. Not just me. Senators. Police, judges, tax collectors. I want everybody to follow the law. Okay? Everybody follows the law. It's a great country. We got a lot to look forward to. When people don't start following the law, and their cronies in the judicial system, in the court system, in the prison systems, when their cronies are in there and they erase records and they don't prosecute for crimes that they prosecute against citizens, then there's a problem. You know, when this guy goes out and he runs a red light and he gets a ticket and your buddy, Officer Joe, out there runs a red light and doesn't get a ticket, you know, there's a, a disparity there. there. To me, there's two classes of citizens. There's the citizen, like me and this gentleman, who are, you know, have to obey the law and we get punished if we don't. Then there's the public servants and they do kind of what they want and they've got cronies in the law administration, and they don't have to obey the law, you know? So there's a, there's a disparity there. We need to bring that in, you know? Government's for the people, by the people, you know? You were a citizen before you were elected or appointed into official position, you know? And after you retire, you'll be back to being a citizen. 
you know? And I'm still a citizen. I may be in this with you. I'm still a citizen. Right, and you're all the time you are a private citizen, and your taxes as well help pay for this stuff. That's why I'm saying, when you see people trying to, to control, you know, keep track of what the government's doing, you should be patting them on the back. You should, I should come in here, there should be a plate of cookies out there for me. You know, like I'm Santa Claus, because I'm doing everybody in the country a service. I'm doing it on my own time. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking anybody to pay me. Okay, and I'm doing it for the good of everybody, yeah. not just me. Right. Okay. Hmm. I have no issue with what you're trying to do, as long as you do it at all. Yeah, um, yeah, it is, it is. But again, feel free to check. We'll be back, you know? Or if you can call anybody now, so we'll wait. No, we have a no problem. Okay, but, but, and when you do, I, I wait. No, I want to make sure like I said, I will for myself. Receive the map. I'm clear yeah. on what the law is. Perfect. I know what our policy is. I make sure I'm clear yeah. on what the law is. Listen, and well, this office operates in accordance with the law. Yeah. So as listen. long as what you're doing is lawful. Absolutely. I agree 100 percent But listen, when I come back, mm -hmm. I like peanut butter cookies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you have peanut butter cookies, I'm not I don't even get peanut butter. <laughs> How about a well, cup of should. coffee? <laughs> you know, that's one I, of the I, I that's can't one of the you peanut butter cookies. Listen, I that's, that's one of the great escapes mm -hmm. of life, is mm -hmm. peanut butter cookies. <laughs> All right, we're going to get out of here. It's been a great day. Thanks, guys, Thank for, for, for listening. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and like I said, look it up. And, uh, and we'll be you work here? Thank you. Thank you. No? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go on YouTube. Look up Rogue Nation and Ford Dirt Farmer. Cool. We're First Amendment activists. We stand up for civil rights for all Americans to let everybody understand what freedom we're losing. And that's what we do. We're not trying to hurt anybody or scare anybody. It just calls. It does, but we have to do that because freedom is never given away for free. Thank you, thank you. Like I said, we ain't trying to hurt anybody anywhere we go. Take care, thanks. There was a private citizen standing there, so I talked to him. Take me out of there, take her out of there. Um, we actually, all I was confirmation. That's yeah, all. yeah, no, you guys did good, man. You guys, I, I, I appreciate you. And um, all we're trying to do is stand up for freedom for all Americans. Right. You know, that's and that's good, but, you know, within the scope <laughs> of things, there's a law, but okay, <coughs> yeah. yeah. Well, here's uh, there, there's a lot of us doing it all around the United States. But here's what they asked that one of the auditors, activists, First Amendment auditors on YouTube, asked a sheriff down South Florida. They said, uh, "I know that's your policy, but if you're if they handed you down a policy that said no blacks allowed in the courthouse, would you follow that policy?" And the sheriff said, "Yes. Policy is not law." So if they make a policy, like I just quoted, yeah. are you standing up for the First Amendment now? That's, understood. That's what we're doing, and there's nothing more than that. People have to understand there's no privacy in public. Public buildings are paid by the taxpayers. Anybody has a right to come in here. Anybody, We could use pocket pens. We're allowed to film with pocket pens, and you would never know we're filming. We could come in and make these videos with a pocket pen, right, right. and we're legal, 100%, right? So basically all we're doing is trying to spread the word to all Americans of all races, creeds, religions, colors, that look, we're losing our freedoms because the people don't believe we're allowed to walk around with a camera. They actually believe they have privacy. Yeah, he's ready. You know, so, all right, you know, man. but hey, that's all I'm trying to get you. Go on YouTube. Okay, hey, can you remember good? Poor dirt farmer on YouTube. I have hundreds of rapist police I report on all across What's the country. Going? Poor dirt farmer. It's plain and simple. And you'll see my web page and look at my videos. And you'll see why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm doing it for you and your grandkids. We have to understand our freedoms are leaving. And if we don't stand up with a camera, I mean, I shoot 30, 60 frames a second. They shoot bullets. You, you want your freedom, don't you? Civil rights, constitutional rights. Well, before you look down at us, watch our... No, I'm saying as far as what we're doing. I mean, as far as not wanting to be on the video, 
be proud you're on this video today because you did make us look good. You didn't call the cops. We didn't get beat up, shot, mazed, or tased. You respected our rights. You didn't agree with them. That's all I wanted y'all to respect what I was saying. Exactly. Let's just let us But see. research it for me. And, and once you educate yourself, tell every kid you know to don't leave their house without their camera on them. It's not safe. I, I ain't going to lie, man. I'm not trying to start problems. I'm trying to educate. And I hope you learn because you and your family need to watch everywhere you go in public more than per se. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me shut this down.